Max Design is a, uh, you know, an emerging biotechnology company in Central Florida. And so we are making a surrogate human immune system. You can think of it as a crash dummy, basically, to test out drugs and biologics, cosmetics. And so we're doing this multidimensional analysis of blood to basically make predictions about how you would respond or how the population would respond to a particular vaccine or drug. We're not just making a component, we're making an entire immune system. So we're making things such as peripheral skin, lung, as well as lymph nodes. I think a lot of good breakthroughs in the fact that our, our system has been able to predict, correctly predict, human immune responses when the animal model has not, including non-human primates. So we have stopped vaccines from going into the clinic because we saw that there could be some significant um, adverse effects. And we've also been able to correctly um, dot, um, observe responses in humans. And I think those are the two biggest things is that we've been able to uh, detect and observe what we said that we could. I think the industry in Central Florida is going terrific, and especially in the corridor. We have some really great collaborations going on Florida Hospital with Florida's blood centers as well as with the University of Central Florida and we've also teamed up with several local biotechnology companies that are working with them uh, as well so it's really uh, the collaborative uh, spirit in Central Florida with you know very large and prestigious organizations um, I think there's a lot of innovation out there but it's raising the capital coming up with the capital and I think that's not only for um, the industry, but it's also especially true for Central Florida and the biotechnology uh, organization growing here as well as access to capital. It's going to be our systems immunoengineering approach. So we have world-class immunologists, world-class engineers, and we brought the two together. And really it's at the intersection where a lot of innovation lies, and we try to bring together that intersection between immunology and engineering.